everyone, it's Julia. I created this little fabric collage this week. It's a great way to use up scraps of fabric and trims, and it's a very easy technique, and I thought I'd share it with you. I have a batch of t-shirts, and this was my inspiration. I wanted to get make something to put a little embellishment on the front of it. I have a base fabric, and this is just a black and white print. Mostly white, a little bit of black in it. And here's the other scraps. And notice I found that same magenta as my t-shirts. And I love this green with it. And then I have a couple other black and white prints that I'm gonna use as well. So that's my pile of scraps. And then it's just on to creating the background, just putting little snips all over. It's very much easier to to put it on a base and to get it to the sewing machine. And so that's what I did there. I just added that other little cutting board so I can transport it easier. And again, just continuing on with adding different colors and just putting lots of layers. I'm gonna put a few little pieces of this netting in as well. This is. You don't see a lot of the color, but it just adds a little bit of a, t of a texture that I really like. So I'm just gonna put some snips of that in. And the last layer is just some ribbons and trims. A lot of this is a stuff I pick up at the flea market. Um, it, so it might be just little odds and ends of, of leftover projects that people don't need or want. I usually like to pick those up and just, because it makes just a fun little added little touch to, to different, um, different projects. So again, just doing my layers. And then next I'm going to be putting a layer of this Salvi. This is a water soluble stabilizer. It's in a couple different pieces here because I started one roll, ended one roll, started another, but I want to completely cover it. I'm just going to put some pins in it. That keeps everything together and keeps everything under my presser foot so nothing gets stuck in my presser foot. Um, you can also use a tool or a netting for this. I've had wonderful results using tool and netting for my projects as the two, but you might, you just want to know that um, that is a, that's permanently on the top where this salvi will be completely dissolved. Let me take this to my sewing machine using a multicolored thread and I just, I'm going to straight stitch all the way around this as my first step. This helps keep everything together and keeps everything from from shifting and moving around. Removing my pins and laying things flat if I need to. And now I have my free motion foot on. And again, I have that multicolored thread on and I'm just gonna meander stitch. And in certain spaces like right here where right here where there isn't much going on. I don't have any fabrics. I'm just going to doodle with my thread just to add some interest and just completely going all the way over this whole piece. Um, just getting just getting the pieces down and just adding adding the thread. One thing I really like about free motion stitching, it is like drawing with, with thread and you can put all sorts of little cute doodles in it. And now I'm, I got my regular foot on and I've still got that multicolored thread on and I'm just doing some different um, decorative stitches. I think I use about three different decorative stitches and I also changed my thread so I've got a couple different colored threads going. All that is done and you can see the fun little um, effect of that decorative stitching. I wanted to add a little bit more of this blue green. So I'm going to, I have this cord and I'm just going to lay it on top. I'm just going to zigzag this cord on um, and it's over the top of even that water soluble. It's just over the top of the whole thing. And I got all that done and you can really see that fun look. And you can see that shiny, shininess is still that soluble. And I want to get rid of that next. And so I have a bowl of warm water. I'm just going to place this in. Um, just kind of swish it around a little. You'll see the water get quite, will get quite cloudy. But that completely dissolves in this water.
And I'm going to take this to my washer and dryer and I'll just throw it in with a load of towels and then and also dry it. It's all dried now and I want to just get that, la that, that end is just kind of crooked there, just evening that out. Then I'm going to cut about, about an inch and a half stri strips. I'm going to cut four of these. I have eight sweatshirt or eight t-shirts to do, um, and I'm, I'll cut I'll cut these in half. So I'm just I just need the four. But then I realized how cool this is going to be in a in a bracelet. So I forgot about everything of these t-shirts and I made this bracelet. And I'm not kidding you. This is how my brain works. I, it's just crazy sometimes. But I got I did. I, I got this cute little bracelet made. It just hooks with a button. I put a little um, elastic on one end and this fun black and white print. Back to my t-shirts. I'm just cutting these in half. I'm going to use a, a temporary basting spray just to give it some stickiness on the back side of that. Um, back to my t-shirt here and I just I use that measuring just to try to get this in the center. And I decided I want to add some beads to it. I have some embroidery floss that's pretty similar in the color and just adding some fun beads. I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach this. I'm just going to do, attach it on my sewing machine. But first I need an, uh, some stabilizer on the back of this. This t-shirt is quite thin. And this is just a tear away, um, stitch, stitch and tear type stabilizer that will go between my layers here. So I have something that will help keep those stitch, stitches from puckering. Found this wonderful um, thread, this multicolored thread. So that's the one I'm going to be using. And I'm going to use my open open uh, arm here and just getting that t-shirt in there. Again, just free motion stitching. I'll add some stitches where there isn't anything and, and I really work on getting all those little bits down if something's poking up. And just going to be going all the way around the edge of this little embellishment. To add the beads, I'm just going to lay this right underneath my presser foot and just go back and forth a few times just to, to, to secure that, that thread. Scooting that out of the way and turning it and then stitching that other side into place. And it's just an easy way to add some beads. Getting rid of that stitch and tear, and that is it. It completes these little t-shirts. It's a really a quick and fun, colorful design for summer. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. I do have some pictures at the end. You can see all the details in that fabric collage. It looks so much more, I don't know, um, hard to do, but it's such an easy technique. And here's some of those, the bracelet pictures. Hope you all have a chance to create this week. Thanks for joining me and supporting my channel. Bye for now. Right?